Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my latest Amazon purchase. This is the Moultrie Delta mobile trail camera. And as with all my purchases, I bought this item with my own money. I get nothing for doing these videos, but I like doing these unboxing videos in case there's somebody sitting out there thinking about buying the same item and they want to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, etc. So when you buy this item, you've got two options. You're going to need to choose your cell phone provider, either AT&T or Verizon. Those are your two options. Let's go ahead and get this open and we'll take a look at everything that comes with. Now, I know you're going to want to see quality examples and stuff like that, but in this video, I'm only going to be doing an unboxing. So give me a second. They've got it packaged pretty well here. This is a 32 megapixel camera. All right, let's take a look at everything. So I mentioned 32 megapixel, but it also does video. And this is one of the few trail cameras I know of that will actually send video files to the mobile app, you get to uh, 15 second video files, which some of the other brands out there don't do that. Uh, you've got a quick start guide that's sent to you, tips for longer battery life, and some Moultrie stickers. You've got a strap that goes around the tree to mount the camera. The antenna, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to read any of this. It just says, please detach, uh, please attach antenna to camera before use. And then the camera itself. So this camera has built-in GPS, which is kind of cool. Wherever you've got it on the app, you're going to be able to see the exact GPS location. And also, if somebody happens to steal the camera, you'd be able to see exactly where your camera is at all times. This back area would be where you would run a strap through, but it's also got the threaded mount at the bottom in the event that you're wanting to mount it to a bracket. It does take a solar panel. If you wanted to plug in the solar panel here, 12 volt is what is required. Feels pretty well made, nice and sturdy. So be where you put your AA batteries. So 12 AA batteries is what this runs off of, but again, you can use a solar panel. We'll need to put an SD card in here. Uh, it does record the images and videos on an SD card as well as sending them to your mobile uh, app. The mobile app has unlimited cloud storage, so it'll never delete your pictures, but then you'll also be able to retrieve the actual images off of your memory card as well. Uh, there's also some things I haven't tried the app, but I was reading on the website. Apparently some of the cool things that they do is they're, uh, they basically have a image recognition when your videos get loaded. Let me show you the buttons here. When your videos get loaded, it'll basically tag the videos so that if you just want to see all the pictures of bucks or all the pictures you got of coyotes or of people trespassing, you don't have to go through all of your images and pick those out. It tags them, and then you can just look at the certain animals that you're interested in looking at. So if you just want to see pictures of turkey, you can just go straight to the turkey pictures and look at those. As with most mobile cameras, there's not a whole lot to this. Basically, you're going to turn the camera on, and then most of your settings are going to be done in the app. But anyway, that's a quick unboxing video. I hope it helps. 